Hey guys, so today we are answering a subscriber question and the question in question was Frederick, can a software, well, a JavaScript programmer who has worked for, I think it was 13 years or something like that transition into more general programming? So let's get into it. Well, I will say yes, but it also depends a little bit. Um, one of the things that we should touch on is that when you start working as a software developer, the language uh, that you pick, the tools that you pick, and the working environment that you start working in will dictate quite a lot for you when it comes to the sort of personal development that you will go through. It's very common to see that certain people going into certain languages or certain tool suites within the industry learn one way of working and then you have others who learn other ways of working. Now, the most fundamental and most important thing to be aware of is that you actually know that you are learning real programming. So as an example, for somebody who goes into say, because the person in question just says JavaScript, but I also know for a fact that when somebody says that, oh, I'm very good with JavaScript, that, and that's the thing that they have been focusing on, that doesn't, you know, that doesn't necessarily mean that they are working with simply JavaScript, it's very likely that they are working with frameworks or different tools or libraries and stuff of this nature. And the work that they do can very likely be, it depends very much on the sort of work that they do. I mean, if you are exclusively working as a freelancer maybe, or on small websites where you pretty much only do front-end work. Although it is absolutely possible for you to transition into more general programming, it's going, uh, depending on your skill level with just programming, just solving problems using logic, it may or may not be trickier for you because when you go into more general programming, if we define that as most commonly, that's gonna be server-side work in the enterprise environments where you know you do full stack development or back-end development, things of this nature. Because when you start doing that, you need different tools and you need a different way of thinking and a different type of thing. It's still programming, you're still going to use logic, but the way the, the things that you do are very different and the way that you have to think about things are different. I mean, I've seen tons and tons and tons of front-end developers who, well, they, it's not, like, they can write code, but they can't write code in the way that you do in order to actually scale a large system. Because the fact of the matter is that you cannot ad hoc things together in the same way when you work in another, say, uh, on the server where you, in, say, Java or C Sharp or something like that in an enterprise environment. Because if you do, like, the system will be absolute garbage. Very, it becomes garbage very quickly. So it's, it's a different way of doing things. I'm not, but making the transition, of course you can do that. It's just a matter of actually understanding the differences between the different working environments. And I also try to push people who, who are working in JavaScript land and front-end development and so forth to really think about good application structure. I actually, because it's not just about making something look nice, guys. It's about making a good system, a good sustainable system. And these things become in, a, a lot more important if you do back-end work, because there, I mean, you don't have a UI on the back-end. And you, the only thing that really matters is that the, that the system works and that it works well. And that means that you have to structure things correctly. You have to understand how to write, or how to make good models and make good solutions. And that is, you know, for most people, what programming is about. So making the transition, absolutely feasible. There's no, nothing, uh, there shouldn't be a problem uh, doing that. It's just that you have to be very aware of that the way that you work on ser the server is going to be different from how you work on the front end. So with that being said, if you can, like, if you want to test yourself, take like apply for a few jobs like you take code tests because they will very quickly show if you have an understanding of algorithmic problems understanding data models and all that stuff and if you can solve those problems then you know go for it the rest comes down to learning how databases work and you know servers and how all of these surrounding tools surround server-side work actually work 
because I mean programming that's the beautiful part about programming programming is pretty much always going to it stays the same regardless of what environment you find yourself in in many uh, aspects like you writing logics logic and all that good stuff it's usually the tools around it that start is that change and that's something that you can absolutely learn so what I want you to take away from this is that even if you if you worked for several years as say a JavaScript developer or a front-end developer whatever you want to call yourself making the transition into more general programming is absolutely feasible feasible it just comes down to you being able to write good logic like actually knowing how to code for real not just using some specific framework or something like that because as i said in other videos that's a crutch that's a, that's a tool that you use in order to and to improve your own workflow but if you can't do it without them and unless you if you don't understand general programming it becomes very tricky for you to be productive in a different environment because as soon as you switch from those tools that you are using right now you're going to have to learn a new suite of tools and how good you are as just general programming and adopting new ways of working, that's the thing that's going to determine how likely you are to be able to make that transition. Have a great day.